All right, so let's say, let's do this from a graphical standpoint just so we conceptually understand this. All right, let's say we've got a parabola, and let's make it a nice, relatively straightforward parabola. Vertex at an origin, minus my poor drawing here. We're pretty good. All right, now we've already learned that at any given point in time, all right, I can say have a, line, a point right there, and we know how to, as long as I know what that curve is, we can take the derivative, find the slope, find the, the tangent line at that point. Okay, that's our tangent line. Now, all a normal line is, is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent line. That is all it is. All right, now, if I know a point on the line, and I know, say, the slope of that tangent line, then it's what? Negative reciprocals for perpendicular lines, and I write a new equation using the perpendicular slope, which is the negative reciprocal slope, and going through that point. So the normal line goes right through that point. It is at a right angle to the tangent line. That's how we can write it, and it's called normal line. So from a graphical standpoint, that's all we got going. All right, from a graphical standpoint, that's all we've got going. So you know how we've been writing, I've been asking you questions. I've been saying, okay, here's a graph, and find the equation of the tangent line at the given point 2, 3. All right, if you can do that, if you can find the equation of this line, then once you have the equation of that line, then you can write the equation of the normal line. So now it's just like a part A, part B to the same type of question we've been doing, okay? All right, so let's see if we can't come up with one. All right, so the first step, it's always going to say, write the equation of the tangent line, okay? So write the equation of the tangent line. Yes, I'm abbreviating just to make this go a little bit quicker. Write the equation of the tangent line of f of x equals 2x to the third plus 3x squared, and then I'm going to say at 228. Okay, so that would be part A. Then we'll do a part B. All right, so I'll go to a different color. So first thing we do is what? Take the derivative. So we do f prime of x, and then don't let me screw this up. We'll do a 6x squared plus a 6x. Okay, so that is the slope at any point along the curve. All right, I want it at what? X equals 2. So I'm going to plug in a 2. So F prime of 2. All right, that'll be 6 times 2 to the second plus 6 times 2. All right, don't let me screw up my math here. 4, 4 times 6 is 24 plus a 12. So 36. <clears throat> and so that is what? the slope at the point 228. <clears throat> All right, now from there, do I have enough information to write the equation line of the tangent line? I do. I know my slope. I know my point. Let's do point slope form. Okay, so tangent line. So y minus 28 equals my slope of 36, and then x minus 2. Okay, so there's the tangent line. Now, part B, write the normal line, let's just say to part A. That'll say rewriting that. Write the normal line to part A. All right, what do we know about perpendicular lines? They have negative reciprocal slopes, right? Negative reciprocal slopes, so what do I do to this? Flip it over and make it negative. It's going to go through the same point. Do these two numbers change? Nope. So y minus 28 equals a negative 1 over 36 x minus 2. 